Hey guys, welcome back to Way of the Hunter. This episode, we're going to harvest that moose, or attempt to harvest it, and complete that mission so we can unlock this area over here for hunting. I'd noticed that there are some, I think it's like longhorn sheep or something like that that are in this area that we're going to be able to hunt after that. I think that'll be kind of cool. But anyway, before we do that, I am going to go back to our lodge and see about buying a moose call to try and make this uh, a little easier before I get into it. Because it's, uh, it's kind of tough with the moose. They spook pretty easily. So we'll head back to the lodge, buy a moose call. Maybe we'll buy something else. We'll have a look and see. All right, back at the lodge. Get on the store. Go into the shop. Look at our gear. Is there a moose call? Yeah, there's a moose call right there. So we'll go ahead and buy that. That's not too bad. 550. What other calls do they have? Red deer, roe deer, elk. Um What about a better a better scope? We've got a good bit of money. This is a the one we have right now is a 7, 2 by 7 by 33. I think we could get this one, which I guess is the best one. Um, I think I'm going to get, this is for long range. I'll save this one for probably like the 338 Lapua. I'm going to get this one. The Leopold BX3HD. Wait. What did I just buy? I don't know what I just bought. I bought something and I didn't intend to. Uh, what was it? Oh. This red dot. Okay. So I need to go to the storage. And we'll assign the moose collar to that. I want to change this scope over to the 14 by 40 Alright. I think we're good so we'll head on back and see if we can get this moose taken care of okay we made it to our our uh, hunting area so wish me luck We'll see if we can get this moose. If anyone's interested about it, the update that came out today, which is the which is September first, update came out and it had some, I guess, performance fixes. If y'all didn't notice, if you were, if you would go into the woods, especially, there'd be some performance issues, frame drops, and so on and so forth. They've addressed that. Um, it seems like it seems like they've fixed it entirely. I have noticed a, a little bit of stuttering while driving the Jeep around, but besides that, everything looks really, really good. Okay, back to it. Um, this is a uh, general area. Let's see. Okay, this is an eating zone for this set. What about these guys? All right. So we'll try and go to this eating zone here and see if we can run across them. Is we headed in the right direction? Yeah. I'll check that out. That's so cool. Seeing these views like this. It's really awesome. Still can't get over how good this game looks. Also, I had a comment of some really good suggestions that I'm looking forward to. Um, basically, just exploring the map in general. And I'll probably do that 
head around and try and unlock as much as I can. Makes it a lot easier just being able to fast travel from one point to another. And also, I didn't know, because I haven't been watching any videos or getting any other outside help on this game, just kind of figuring it out myself along the way. Um, but apparently there's more than one echo location, and if you get those all those echoes, it gives you a boost to your hunter sense. I guess it makes it stronger, like 20% stronger or something like that. And uh, I appreciate that that info. So I imagine what I'll do is next episode or something, or make a little short episode. We'll go on a little trot and uh, see if we can find all the, the echo locations. And just, you know, look at the scenery. And of course, get sidetracked and kill stuff along the way. <laughs> something else that I need to do is do some proper scouting. I think, I haven't looked at it. But I believe the they have their patterns during the day or during the different times of the day. You know, they'll go eat or go drink and then go rest. And it all kind of follows a pattern. I think if I could figure that out, that would make things a lot easier also. Or just kind of just kind of winging it a little bit and just um, figure it out together all right so we've been looking for a really long time finally found a bull that is a two star so I'm going to be as careful as I possibly can and make sure that this shot counts. Wind is somewhat in our favor. We have these two cows here. Oh man. 200 meters. 160 meters. I'm afraid I'm going to scare them. We can work our way around and get a shot on this guy. Almost. Don't spook. Man, I hope they don't spook. Okay, here we go. Hundred forty four yards. Oh, oh. put two into him because I don't want him to go. Where'd he go? Well, we saw him going that way. Okay, let's find the blood trail. Okay, where was he? Here we go. What did we get? Medium amount of blood. have a trail at least 
Oh man. Took me about 30 minutes to track this guy down. Look at that. Big old bull. Finally. That's awesome. Where did that first shot even go in at? It's high. It's a, it's a double lung though. It was high. I got that artery. And then the second shot. Oh, that was a horrible shot. Horrible, horrible shot. That one got him in his pooper. But hey, we got it done. All right. I'm super stoked about that. Good deal. We got that knocked out. That took a that took a long time. I've been looking. I've been looking a lot, searching. And it's really hard to see the blood right now with the way the light shining through the trees. But anyway, so we're going to go back to the cabin and get this area unlocked. All right, we're back. Go in here and see what see what this guy has to say. Dear River, I don't know what I would do without your help. I said that I enjoy my solitude and prefer fictional characters to the real ones. But this time I am glad I met you. I feel like we share a lot about what connects us to Nez Perce Valley. Thanks to you, I feel inspired every day and feel less lonely, even though sometimes I like to wallow in my loneliness. Your new friend, Matthias. P.S. I named a character in my story after you. It's Wild River, cheerful spirit of streams who hides great sorrow in his joy. All right. Our little indicator is gone, showing that we can't hunt here. Perfect. If only Matthias knew how many moose that I killed looking for that one. I probably, I probably killed six one star, uh, one star moose looking for the other ones. Look at this. So we've made it back to our lodge after we took down that two-star moose and I want to do this mission we saw it the other day it's from Gerald Small and he wants us to kill two white-tailed deer a male and a female and we have to keep their hearts and this is for his daughter. She and her fiance fell in love. And uh, he wants to do this special dish with these deer hearts. So we're going to go and track down these white tail. This is actually the third time that I've tried to, to do this. Because... There was an update today, and with that update, it fixed it fixed some issues, performance issues in the forest and stuff. But when I fast travel now, the uh, the game crashes. Not every time, but it's been pretty consistent. So I'm just gonna drive down to I think this is it over here. Yeah, so we're going to drive down to this area and see if we can get us a couple whitetail. Okay, so we were just driving up. And here is a little whitetail buck. So I'm going to go ahead and try and take this guy. How far is he? 181 yards. Okay. And we can't damage his heart. So, let me lay all the way down on the ground. There we 
we go. Well, I need to get some more ammo, too. Don't have a lot left. Cool. We dropped him. That was simple enough. Alright. Just drive the Jeep up there to him. Check out this little guy. a big old deer though. Looks big. Check it out. Yeah, he's good. That's it. He is a big old deer. 190 pounds. That's really big. Cool. I wonder. Uh, it says harvest male white tailed deer without damage in the heart. Okay, so let's do that. Venison heart, escabeche it is. Escabeche. All right. So now we just need to do, we need to find a doe and uh, do the same thing. Is that, that might be some right there, actually. Uh, is it? I can't really tell. They're too far. I wonder... See if I can get them to come. Okay. We found another little herd of deer here. We need a doe. I'm gonna creep up there and see if we can bag one. See if we can I'll try and find a mature one. Can. Uh, is that one mature? Mature female. Okay, yeah. So we'll, we'll try to take her then. 235 yards. Yeah, let's get closer. And they're just sitting there grazing, so they should be there for a little while. As long as I don't spook them. I think I want to go ahead and try and take her though. See how far she is. 191. 191 yards. 192 yards. No pain. All right. Got her. So let's sell her. Venison heart, escabeche it is. All right. So we got that finished. That wasn't too bad at all. I actually enjoyed that a little bit say a little bit actually a lot it's fun hunting the whitetail and the mule deer and stuff I think this is not quite quite as much of a challenge I head back up to the to the lodge and check our mailbox okay I got sidetracked where did he go is this him here yeah Check this guy out. He's a mature three star. And since he's mature, I don't think he can advance anymore as far as his stars. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take him because I'd like to put him I'd like to do a, a mount with him. Put it in the lodge. I'm going to give that a shot. How far? He's 231 yards. Get a little closer.
That badger just scared me half to death. Things sound like a bear. big boy. Need you to turn a little bit for me. I think that was a solid hit. Yeah, he's hurting. Yeah, he's hurting pretty good. Yeah, I think he I think he went down right here in these bushes over here. We'll go see if we can find the blood trail and track him down. Okay, here's our blood trail. Air bubbles. Okay. Solid shot, I think. I can't wait until get the really big ones. Can't imagine what a four or five star looks like. Yeah, there he is right there. He went up into the into the thicket to lay down. Look at that. That is awesome. Well, I was off a little bit. I got a lung. I got a single lung. Let's look at this rack. Wow. What is that? 12 point? That's a 13 point, actually. Big old 13. That is awesome. I'm definitely going to put him on the wall in the lodge. All right. I feel pretty good about that hunt. I'm going to go back to the lodge and uh, we'll put him on the, we'll put him on the wall. Got him. Keep saying I'm going to make it back to the lodge. So I'll get back there at some point. I was driving back and came across another herd. And I couldn't help myself. But I wanted to take him because this guy, he's an old, he's an old deer and it's pretty, uh, Pretty small rack. Just some more herd management. I don't think he's quite dead yet. Let's see where we got vital organ or artery. I don't know. His he's definitely an old deer. His rack doesn't look that bad though. It's not too bad. He had a 287 pounds. You're going to harvest animal, which can be used to progress in one of your inactive objectives. Oh, deer management. Okay, so let me do this. Activate. All right. Claim it. And we'll try that. Oh. So that went towards that went towards the deer management. Yeah. So that was yeah. That's the one. Was it harvest five mule deer bucks with a fitness score of less than forty percent? Okay. Either adult or mature. Yeah. Awesome. I'll pick this. Pick this one back up. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna beeline it straight to the lodge. I'm not going to get sidetracked again. I'm not even going to pay attention. I'm just looking straight ahead. Straight to the lodge. 
All right, let's check our mailbox here. Let's see what they say. River, I'm sending you another package with a comic book. The story takes place six years later. It was a very hard year for me, but your company kept me sane. Maybe that's why I agreed so quickly when you were interested in hunting. But I don't regret any single day we spent together out there. I hope you're getting in touch with other landowners in the valley. Some may be overbearing, but they're all good people. Your loving grandpa, Wallace. Some summers also brought sadness. Time heals all wounds, and time goes faster if it's spent with good friends. I am bored. Do you have a better idea what we should do? River, why does your grandfather have a door to the basement in his office? No idea. He says it's just full of boxes, but he won't open it. <gasps> Mysterious locked basement door. Why don't we try and open it? I've tried. Many times. No luck. Boredom is a natural predator of secrets. Yeah, but you didn't have us. What do you think is really down there? Maybe a hidden man cave with a pool table? Maybe my grandfather is a nerd and it's a secret D&D &D lair. Or his serial killer lair. Ah! <gasps> what are you doing here? Solving the mystery of the locked basement. This one will have to stay a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> When will you take me hunting? Never. Your father strictly forbade it. Please. Come on, please. He'll never know. But you'll have to promise me something first. You will forever take pride in being an ethical hunter. You'll never stoop to breaking the rules of ethical hunting. An ethical hunter knows and obeys the laws, understands that it is not just about what is legal, but also what is honorable and moral defines unfair advantage as when the game does not have a reasonable chance of escape, makes full use of the hunted animal, cares about and respects all wildlife, measures success not in the quantity of game taken, but by the quality of the chase, knows their limitations and stretches the stalk, not the shot, takes pride in the decisions they make in the field and takes full responsibility for their actions. Only unethical hunters say it's hard being ethical when nobody's watching. And that's how it started. That was pretty awesome. I'm loving these stories like this. Let's see, looks like we have two things to look at. Let's pop over here and see what this is real quick. Hi, it's April again. Sorry for the weird welcome. Could have been worse. <laughs> How? Okay, it was pretty bad. Can you explain to me what it was all about? I need to knock some sense into Noah. By scaring him shitless? Yes. And that would help in what way? To make him understand what it feels like. To be scared like that. Hurt. It's better if you see it for yourself. I'll send you the coordinates. Be careful where you step in this area. And please disable uh, traps and call me afterward near your lodge. The signal is weak. What traps? <laughs> okay. It's kind of a trip, huh? Okay. I'm gonna go in here. I'm going to check this one more. But you know what? I'm going to save that one there. We're going to go in here. We're going to find a place. Find a place to put that deer. That big white tail we got. You know what? I think I want to put him. I want to put him right here. Uh, yeah. Just like that. We'll pick that one. Oh, yeah, that's going to be perfect. Let's 
let's have a look. Oh, yeah. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. That's awesome. I enjoyed that hunt. That's great. Okay. So, we were able to get a good bit done today. Pretty satisfied with that. I'm, I'm happy. Um, especially we got... I was able to get this area unlocked finally. That was tough. That was a... Uh, it took a lot of time to get all that stuff done with that. Searching for all the sign up there and hunting down the, the two-star moose to take. That was, uh, that was a tough gig. We were able to do the, the whitetail heart. That was good. That was an enjoyable hunt. We ran into that, that big buck that we were able to take also. And I took a couple other deer along the way. So it was a, it was a good day. It was a good hunt. I enjoyed it. Good bit. I thank y'all for watching the video. Coming along with this adventure with me. I hope y'all have a good day. Goodbye.